Shoppers in Buffalo's biggest suburb now have a new option when it comes to grocery shopping this weekend. Whole Foods opened up its doors for its very first location here in western New York. This all happened this morning. Look at the line. Hundreds of people lined up to try and be the first inside. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Muller is following the story for us tonight. She's here now with more. Keith, this store in Amherst has been two years in the making, and we were live on Facebook at 8 o'clock this morning when Whole Foods opened the doors to a long line of eager customers. <laughs> the chain prides itself on selling products with no chemicals, additives, or preservatives. With a focus on quality, Whole Foods says it's strict standards when it, has, when it comes to having products for you to buy on its shelves. Western New York's first Whole Foods joins a very crowded competitive market. There are now eight grocery stores in a two mile radius near Sheridan and Niagara Falls Boulevard. Health. I'm a cancer survivor and I'm into nutrition and health a lot more than I've ever been and that's what this means to me, a path to get to health. I'm really excited about all the local products. I think it's going to be great to not have to go to each individual place to try to get a local product. The competition, for, especially for this area with all these stores in this area. I... Whole Foods is open from 8 a.m. to 10 at night each day. Whole Foods replaced Bonton store in Northtown Plaza. Most other storefronts in the plaza are now empty. Brittany Muller, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Brittany. So, how do the prices at Whole Foods stack up against Tops and Wegmans and other stores? Well, we did a little shopping for you to find out. If you're interested, just look for our supermarket sweep story. Right now, it's on our Facebook page, also on our WKBW News app as well.